Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. This is part two of this video. Um, wanted to cut that off because it got a little lengthy there. Um, so we went ahead and put back in her original breaker that she asked for to be possibly looked at if that was the issue. Um, it is still blown. I can see that. I know it's hot. And when I had the video off, I actually took circuit eight and moved it up again so I could get these to blow. I put in their old breaker because I don't want to blow out my new breaker. It can only tolerate that so much when 240 is hitting head on. So we went here to test it and here to test it. This is tripping by normal, but I still can't get the old original one to trip. Okay. As soon as I put on, boom. So now I'm wondering if I have a ground or a neutral fault. Okay, so how would we test that? Well, we're going to go in here to find, which in this mess, we're going to try to find our neutral and black. Here we go. Master bedroom. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so we still have the right circuit. And then we're going to pull this neutral off, or the, excuse me, the grounding conductor off of this circuit. I think I found it. Gently pull those wires out. I don't have any gloves on, so I do need to be careful because if I end up having a nicked wire in there from a heavy knife when it was installed it could just jump here and back to the cabinet and through my hands okay right here i know that this ground and neutral is the same i can pull it it's off let's see what that neutral is completely floating now now if there's two circuits tied it could be traveling the path of the other neutral on the other wire too which is this guy but first we're going to test it remember one thing at a time we're getting paid to test not change parts Boom, still blowing. Let's isolate now and see if this ground on the master bedroom retreat, so the retreat matches right here. So we know this was labeled right. That was really nice of the electrician. And in fact, guys, that's a, that's a real important thing. Make sure your house is labeled well to your panel. When you get into problems like this, um, it can actually be a lot easier for someone to trace if they know where things are going. So guess what? That was the other ground next to it. We're going to make sure that this ground is the same. And it is. So we want to make sure this ground's not touching another ground, like it is right there on a yellow circuit, which is probably the dining. So we want to make sure none of these grounds are touching, because that'll just travel the path too. So we're going to reset again. One, two, three, four. I changed it to circuit eight, master bedroom. It's the same wires, but it's moved it up one phase to phase A. Here's B. Let's see if we can blow it again. Boom. Blew it again. Again, I'm testing with the old arc fault because it's already toast anyways. At least it's breaking here, but not on the neutral side. So now what we want to do is let's take off the neutral. Well, this guy's not an arc fault, so he's just landed up there somewhere. I think I found it. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to dig these through. I want to make sure both breakers off because remember it's back feeding so you go grabbing that neutral and it's hot, you might get nailed. You'll be completing that circuit.
again, you don't want to do this at home if you're a homeowner. This is this is something where if you're getting back fed on a neutral and somebody has something on 